So there's this thing called distribution, though personally I like to call it the claw. And the idea behind distribution is very powerful. It basically says you don't need to worry about order of operations. That is, rather than compute some sum inside of parentheses first, we can actually do our multiplication first and then do our addition at the end. Here what that looks like is multiplying 2 times 3x, which gives us 6x, and then 2 times 5y, which gives us 10y, and then adding those two things together. What students tend to struggle with is doing this process backwards. That is, there's no special reason we have to do the multiplication first and then the addition, distribution works just as easily in the other direction. We can recognize, oh, 6x and 10y, both of those could have come from a multiplication by 2. So let's actually draw out the 2 from each of these terms. 6x is the same thing as 2 times 3x, 10y is the same thing as 2 times 5y, and so that common 2 comes out to the front and then it leaves us with this sum in parentheses. We don't even normally think of this as distribution, we usually call this process factoring. And since this gives students such trouble, I really love this activity from brilliant.org. Consider an expression like 2s plus 6t. If we want to make sure this is balanced, we could imagine packing away the different items that we have on the left side of this scale right now. We have an s already, but we need to do something with the t triangles. Because of the way it's stacked here, we can see pretty easily, oh, we need to pack away three triangles along with one square to get this scale to balance out. But that's just another way of saying that all this stuff on the left, two S's and six T's, is actually just the same thing as two boxes of an S plus a three T. In our brilliant.org system, we can just kind of drag these things over, two times the quantity, S plus three T. Of course, we wanna check our work, plus 15, and then we can continue on from there. What about something like eight plus four C? Well, in this case, although we could again do two sets of boxes, we can actually do more than that. We can do four different boxes. What do eight units and four C have in common? They have in common a four. Four is going to be that multiplier on the outside, and we're multiplying four times two to make the eight, and four times C to make the four C. And of course, there's no special reason we have to keep using the scale metaphor. We can also just look at these as symbols. 50W plus 10 can be factored with a common 10, and then we just ask 10 times what would have made that 50w, and then 10 times 1, of course, makes the 10. This is the Brilliant.org platform, and I would love it if you check them out, brilliant.org slash polymathematic. You can start for free. You don't have to pay anything, though if you want, you can get 20% off a premium membership using the link brilliant.org slash polymathematic.